this is an ultrasound study of a four years old girl with a history of swelling on the face and uh, feet and legs. In which we study that uh, what we see is that the kidney, see the kidney of this four years old. Now normally, uh, let's review a little bit of the what normal should be and what we are seeing over here. And normally, this is a magnified view, but uh, under normal circumstances, when the kidney is normal, the parenchymal echogenicity of the renal parenchyma is, is equal to or slightly less in echogenicity compared to the uh, adjacent liver in ultrasound. But here what you are seeing is that the echogenicity of the kidney parenchyma is diffusely raised comparing it with the adjacent parenchyma, that of the liver. Now you see that this this is the liver, the normal liver, ambidiaphragm right. This is the kidney, which is approximately 7.5 centimeter in length and uh, 3.0 centimeter in anterior posterior diameter. Now this is the cortex, bright, diffuse, bright ecogen. So ecogenicity is raised compared with the adjacent table. This area with this region. This is the liver ecogenicity. And this is that of the kidney, cortex of the kidney. This, and you can very well, we can very well make up the difference that the raised, the echogenicity of the uh, right kidney parenchyma is raised. So, second thing, note that these are the pyramids, these black triangular areas that you will be seeing, they are so prominent and the central sinus echo complex is rather muffled. See the prominence of the pyramids. <coughs> Here we are. Now these are, this is an unusual uh, dilation. Normally uh, the pyramids are not so dilated, not, uh, sorry, not so prominent as we are seeing here. Now this is the uh, lower pole of the kidney, mid region, upper pole of the kidney and these areas are the uh, pyramids of the kidney that are significantly prominent, both the interior and posterior. Here we are, these are the posterior pyramids. No calculus and or focal region is seen. Now, is this uh, a unilateral problem or a bilateral one? Let us see the other kidney as well. The hyalur region is intact. This is the hyalur region. But I don't need the other. Now let's see the status of the left kidney. You will find all the same changes that I have mentioned for the right kidney. Here we are seeing the left kidney. Both having same sonographic features, diffuse raised, cortical echogenicity, significantly prominent renal pyramids and muffled central sinus eco-complex with no focal region calcif calc uh, calcification uh, and or focal region seen. Then uh, remember that this is a, a patient of uh, four years, a patient is only four years old. With this, along with this, we see small amount of uh, fluid in the dependent region peritoneal cavity. 
so minimal ascites or very initial stage ascites uh, is because of uh, this patient and this patient is uh, suffering from nephrotic syndrome. This is the flute, this, this is the unity plant, these are the bowels, this is the flute. So this is our case of the day. Thank you.